Okay, you too. So, you know, I couldn't wait to get into um, one of my BH Cosmetics palettes. I'm going to be using the 26 palette neutral eyeshadow and blush. So I'm going to be using that one. I already put uh, eyeshadow base all over my eyes just so that the eyeshadows will pop more and so it can stay all day. So the first color I'm, that I'm going to be applying, um, I'm going to be applying in my crease is this matte brown right here. So I'm just going to take that and if you have this eyeshadow palette, let's just do this together. So I'm going to put this all in my crease, so like this, and then blend, okay, blend, so blend all the way to right here, just so that you see the brown from here all the way to there, so just like that, okay, this side as well. It's like a little goes a long way because look, it's so pigmented. So crazy. You never knew. Okay, so blend like that. Go over there. <laughs> My baby's eating hot Cheetos. You don't believe me? Watch. Hot Cheeto, baby. <laughs> wow. Okay. Anyways. So, since that color is all over in our crease thingy, in our crease thingy, in our crease, I'm going to go in with this burgundy color right here and apply that in our crease. in my face right there Okay, and now going in with this dark matte brown, just grab some of that. And I'm going to apply that in my crease as well, but right in this spot mainly. And just lightly blend. Do like a circular, circular motion. And then this pretty rose color, I'm going to apply it underneath our brow bone. So like that. 
then back in with the blending brush, I'm going to grab this color right here and just put it in my crease as well. Go on this. Go on this. Didn't I tell you to go already, Andrew? Didn't I tell you to go? And then this color right here, I'm gonna put it in the crease as well. Just so that it gives it a really tense look. So that's the finished look. Thank you for watching. So this is the finished look.